Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today I brought you guys this problem here. a squared plus the square root of a is equal to 9 16 And what we want to do is we want to figure out what is a equal to. Okay? So we need to solve for a. So let's go ahead and get started. So when solving for this problem, what are we going to do first? First thing that I am going to do is I am going to put a squared on the other side. And you'll see why. So we have this equation to equal to square root of a is equal to 9 16 minus a squared. Okay, so why did I subtract a squared? Well, I did this so that we can set up this equation, the right side, as the third binomial formula. So what is the third binomial formula again? Let's review it. So the third binomial formula states that a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared, okay? Remember this a, you know what, I'm actually gonna change the a to variable c because I do not want you guys to get the a's mixed up because this a here is different than from here so let me change the values so here okay so here i just changed the variables so c plus b times c minus b is equal to c squared minus b squared just so we don't get our a values mixed up because we have an a variable here and here okay so as we can see on the right side if we were to apply this we have a variable here subtracting a variable here that's squared which we already have here so that means that our a would correspond to our b. However, we do not have our 9 16 squared yet because here there's supposed to be a value squared. And here our 9 16 is not squared. However, we can make it squared. So remember, when we can write it as a squared value, so we can find the square root of this and then put it in parentheses squared. So how do we find the square root? Well, when you square a fraction is just the numerator squared and denominator squared. So that means that 9 16 is just equal to 3 over 4 squared because 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16 minus a squared. Okay, so now we got this to match our third binomial formula here. So I'm going to rewrite this equation as rewrite this with our 3 fourths being the c. And the a being the b, okay? So I'm going to rewrite it with this formula. So we will now have square root of a is equal to 3 fourths plus a times 3 fourths minus a, okay? So now we got these values here, 3 fourths plus a and 3 fourths minus a, but we still need to figure out what a would be equal to. And how can we do this? Well, we know that these two factors are factors for square root of a, right? And what are possible factors of square root of a? So one, for any value, a possible factor would also be one, right? So if we set these values up for one and square root of a, that means that we can solve for a. So let me show you how to do this. So let's imagine this one. We will turn this into one, this value here. And then this into square root of a. And then there will be, we will get our a value there. So if this is one, that means that three fourths, let me write it oh, actually on the other side. Three fourths plus a is equal to one. So that means that our a is simply equal to 1 minus 3 fourths, which is simply equal to 1 fourths. Okay? So if our a is equal to 1 fourths in this case, that means that we need to plug it in this equation here, since we said this would be square root of a. So square root of a, which we put, have here of 1 fourth, is equal to 3 fourths minus 1 fourth. Okay? 
and square root of one fourth is equal to one half because one half times one half is equal to one fourth. Three fourths minus one fourth is equal to one half. Also, because it's equal to two fourths, which is also one half. So here we have one half is equal to one half. So here we basically just prove that this value is true, that our a is equal to one fourth. And now finally, to check this value, let's just plug it in into the top equation here. Let's plug in one fourth in our top equation here for a just to check our answer. So we have one fourth squared plus square root of one fourth is equal to nine sixteenths. So one fourteen squared is what? Numerator squared is one, denominator squared is sixteen, plus square root of four, square root of one fourth, which we went over already, is one half, because one half times one half is equal to one fourth, is equal to nine sixteenths. So one half can be rewritten as eight sixteenths, right? Because eight over sixteen is also equal to one half. And that's equal to nine sixteenths. So this is correct. We checked our work. So the final answer is that A is equal to one fourth. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.